This is Marcos here for FightHubTV.com and KTrace.com with MMA legend Frank Shamrock. Now we're here at the Strikeforce Open workout for Baba Lou's fight against uh, Lawler. How do you see that fight uh, going down, Frank? I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I, every time I count Lawler out, he knocks somebody out or does something dramatic. So um, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, Babalu really needs to get it to the ground, I think, and get it into a submission game or a wrestling game. That's where Robbie doesn't like to move and expend energy. But uh, I don't know, man. This game's getting crazy. <laughs> There's another big big fight coming up. Um, Fedor is going against uh, Fabrizio Verdum. Uh, who do you like in that fight? Well, I like Fedor, obviously. Um, I think Verdum has a chance, but I think Verdum's got to you know use that cage, use the ground and pound, kind of maybe get outside of his game plan a little bit. I think he needs a sort of a you know cut him, beat him, hurt him early, and you know change the game plan. Now, speaking of which, you know, Frank, you've been uh, around a very, very long time. Um, any plans for you to come back, uh, you know, fight maybe rematch with uh, Kung Lee? Yeah, well, I didn't know I'd left anywhere, but uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently I'm old. <laughs> what I meant by that is we've we seen you recently commentating and stuff. <laughs> I'm so old, man. No, um, you know, I do, I do plans to fight. Um, I think they want me to fight the winner of the Kung Lee and Scott Smith, which is coming up. So, you know, I still, I love it. You know, my body hurts, but it doesn't hurt that bad. And, I get up every day, I go to the gym, I work out, so I figure this is my life. Stylistically speaking, which one, which opponent fits you better? Hmm, I don't know. I think that, um, I don't know, I think they're both good opponents for me. I mean, Kong, you know, I don't think Kong's all that good on the ground, and I don't think Scott Smith is all that good on the ground. Andre Olarski just had a bout uh, recently against uh, Bigfoot Silva. You know, he's coming off a loss to uh, Brett Rogers. Uh, do you think he's still relevant in MMA, or do you think he's just had a bad streak? I think he's had a bad streak. I think he got his his. I think he's got his hat back on. But uh, the problem with putting your hat back on is still got to go back outside. And I think the first time he went outside, he got whacked over the head. And you know, questions were answered. He's obviously got a chin. And he's obviously there to fight. He's just got to put it together now. Now, is there going to be any co-ops uh, with Strike Force and Bellator uh, by chance? Have you heard anything from Scott? No, I mean I haven't heard much on you know combining promotions or whatnot. But it's pretty much inevitable in our business. You know, once once your brand is established and you're on television, you have a group of stars. You know, the next thing you do is you look at the other stars over there and start mixing them up. So I think as long as they're they remain in the industry and their brand stays strong and they keep growing, I mean, sky's the limit for all this stuff. Is there anyone in that organization that you would like to see fight in the Strike Force organization? Um, nobody, nobody stands out. I mean, I like Eddie Alvarez because I've seen him fight quite a bit. But you know, the beauty of Strike Force is we are so deep in talent. I mean, there's so many guys that, um, and I, I just enjoy the shows because every time a new star pops up, and we got a new guy to root for. Oh, I've always been curious about this in uh, you fighters. Uh, the a EA MMA games coming out on Wednesday. Um, how's it like playing yourself in the video game? <laughs> It's creepy, but uh, it's very cool. And the beauty of the game is that uh, you get to go on the journey. You get to go on the MMA journey. You get to travel around the world. You get to train at the camps. And it's just like you're a young fighter. I mean, it's, it's as close as the experience as you can get without getting your head punched in. I know in uh, some uh, football games or even basketball games, a lot of the players complain like, oh, I'm faster than that, or oh, I can break tackles. Do fighters have the same complaints in this game? 100%. Yeah, 100%. I can say that um, the last game I was in, they made my character really good because the company that made it was Japanese, and I fought for them. So I've had the advantage and the disadvantage on both sides. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you care what you look like. You care what your game is. It's cool. It's very cool. Now, finally, um, regarding the UFC, do you think it's fair how easily they cut fighters, you know? Uh, I mean, it's their business, you know. They do what they want to. I don't think it's fair, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I believe differently. I think that we're all in it for the long haul. But, you know, I don't know. Depends on how you run your company. We do ours differently. Well, thank you very much, Frank. We really appreciate this interview, and I uh, look forward to you to either fighting uh, Kung Lee or Scott Smith. Me too.